everyone. I was taking a look around and seeing what kind of books I have left to read to you. And this week, since we started um, with an Eric Carle, I figured instead of going into a whole new author study that maybe I'll just give you a little variety this week. So I found The Crayon Box That Talked. We did this one at the beginning of the year. Remember when we drew a picture with just one color and then we did the same picture but with a whole bunch of beautiful colors? So I'll read this one to you. I found a fly guy, which I know is pretty popular with some of the friends when we go to library. So I have one of those. And then I found two Jan Brett stories. This one, you know, The Mitten, we've read that one. But this one, I don't think I've ever read it ever. It's called Hedgy Surprise. And I think Hedgy might be a repeat character who was in this story and also in the other very popular story called The Hat. Okay, so you might have these at home. I'm going to start with the crayon box that talked for today. That will be our Tuesday read aloud. So here we go. The crayon box that talked by Shane Dilroth, illustrated by Michael Letzing. While walking in a toy store the day before today, I overheard a crayon box with so many things to say. I don't like red, said yellow, and green said, nor do I. And no one here likes orange, but no one quite knows why. We are a box of crayons that doesn't get along, said blue to the others. Something here is wrong. Well, I bought that box of crayons and took it home with me. And laid out all the colors so the crayons could all see. They watched me as I colored with red and blue and green and black and white and orange and every color in the... Amy, good job. They watched as green became the grass and blue became the sky. The yellow sun was shining bright on white clouds drifting by. Colors changing as they touched, becoming something new. They watched me as I colored. They watched till I was through. And when I finally finished, I began to walk away. And as I did, the crime crayon box had something more to say. You might remember, what do they start talking about? I do like red, said yellow, and green said, so do I. And blue, you were terrific, so high up in the sky. Oh, these pages are not cooperating with me. We are a box of crayons, each one of us unique, but when we get together, the picture is complete. So I thought this book might be a good reminder for you guys that while you're doing your work at home and sending me pictures, make sure that you are adding lots of details to your pictures and that you are using all the crayons in your crayon box. And because you have more supplies at home, feel free to use your markers or your colored pencils, anything that you can think of, be creative. Have a wonderful day. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Miss you. Bye.